we can use such a now pass filter to implement, for example, a fractional delay D, where D is a real number, for example, 0 0.5, which we want to delay a signal by half a sample. So in this case, we cannot simply use a memory element, as in the case of integer delays. In lecture 8, we saw already that our ideal frequency response in the DTFT domain, the discrete time Fourier transform, is given by this equation here. To obtain its ideal impulse response, we can apply the inverse DTFT. We also saw this uh, in lecture 8, but here, so what we are doing, we are applying the inverse DTFT to our ideal frequency response. So after all these mathematical uh, manipulations here, important to remember also this exponential and tr uh, trigonometry um, properties here, and when we replace things, we find out that the ideal impulse response is a sync function shifted by d. So for the case of an integer delay d, this degenerates to a 1 at the dth position of our impulse response and zeros elsewhere. So we need to make this an FIR filter, and for that we will apply a window function. Yeah, this is also described in the lecture Multirate Signal Processing. You also find tutorials for multirate signal processing at Guitars AI GitHub and Guitars AI YouTube channels. So in this case here, we will use a sign window. So for this example, we will apply a sign window to the sync function. So here is the equation for the sign window, where L is the length of the window, and then N goes from 0 to L minus 1. So what we're doing is that this avoids having sudden ends of the impulse response. Yeah? We also want to keep the most significant part of our sync function to keep the resulting error small. So what we need to do is that the, the samples that we will drop out, they also should be small. Yeah? And to include some of the sig significant values of the sync function at negative n, we will need to shift it to the positive indices. So we will shift it by n0 and to make it causal. So in this, 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 in this way, we will obtain the following impulse response. So it's our sync function shifted by n0, and then we will apply a window, there's a sign window, so it's a multiplication in the time domain. 